What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with the M... No, fuck, shit. What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with the MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, June 13th. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live, and follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. The big one, though, the easiest thing that you could possibly do is just sign up at Stochastic. You can see the banner at the top of the screen. The promo code is SCORE. There's a link in the description. Makes it even easier. If you just want MLB, you can get 50% off your first week of our MLB package. That's going to be projections, ownership, top stacks, top pitchers, top batters, everything we have behind the paywall on the baseball side for DFS. Now, if you want everything, MLB, NBA is over, NHL is about to be over, PGA, NASCAR, F1, MMA, I'm sure I'm missing something else, you can get our Platinum Package for 50% off as well if that's what you're looking for. Now, we're going to round out the bottom of my top 10 with the Dodgers, the Phillies, the Rangers, the A's, and the Blue Jays on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, we've got the Angels taking on the Rangers on the road. Cody Bradford on the hill, the lefty. Four and a half run implied total for the Angels. 6% chance at top stack, 3% chance at top value. Projected lineup right now, eight righties. Very, very appealing in this spot against Bradford. The only lefty that you have to worry about in the Angels lineup right now is Shohei Otani. And you're clearly not like skipping him for any major reason. Hunter Renfro, oddly enough, the most optimal angel, 3,700 in the six hole in this projected lineup, at least, fits in the optimal more frequently than any other angel. It's, you know, Otani, expensive, Trout, expensive. I like the spot for Renfro if I need to just pick one individual bat. Really, the reason you're going to the angels is Otani, Trout, and the fact that it's Cody Bradford on the hill. At number four, we're actually going to the Cincinnati Reds. They are taking on the Royals and Jordan Lyles. Lyles is working his way out of the league. 4.97 projected fit. This is a 4.8 run implied total here for Cincinnati. Would be an even bigger number if we were in Cincinnati, given that ballpark. But we are in Kansas City. Much more of a pitcher's park. Doesn't really stop me from wanting to get to the Reds, though. 6% chance to be the top stack. 4% chance at value. There are ones of this lineup that I like more than others. Ellie De La Cruz, in particular, is the best thing that you can get to. MPE shortstop third, incredible. 4,700, great price tag. Best projection on the team outside of TJ Friedel. I really, really like De La Cruz. You're probably paying attention to him in cash game scenarios for today. Anytime you can go up against Jordan Lyles, you should just do that. Big time ceiling here in this one for the Houston Astros just because of their raw talent. They're in at number three, Pat Corbin on the hill for the Nats. League average based on steamer, but the Astros are minus 270 in this one. 5.1 run implied total for Houston. 6% chance to be the top stack. 5% chance top value, which is interesting considering some of the prices on these guys, but they are sort of free at the bottom. Eight of nine spots in the projected lineup are righties. Only Kyle Tucker gets the lefty-lefty matchup. Best guy you can get to for Houston today, very easily. Jose Altuve, second baseman, 4,600 in the two-hole. Best projection on the team. If you needed to just pick a one-off, Altuve is the guy you're looking for. To the Royals we go at number two, taking on the Cincinnati Reds, who we talked about already. Brandon Williamson on the hill for Cincinnati, 5.24 projected fit. Uh -uh. 4.9 run implied total for the Royals, which is really nice to see in their park. 5% chance at top stack. So it's not the biggest ceiling in the world. 14% chance at top value. These dudes are free. Bobby Witt's 5,600. Salvador Perez is 5,300. Everyone else in the projected lineup, 3,100 or below. Only two lefty-lefty matchups. One of them, Nick Prado in the leadoff spot. I'm cool with it. Got the MPE. MJ Melendez is 3K. Cool with that as well. Salvador Perez is your most optimal play here from the Royals 8% of the time. This is just the stack you want to get to if you need to save some salary. Finally, we close it out with the Boston Red Sox, who did not do what I wanted them to do yesterday. Maybe they can do it here today. Chase Anderson on the hill for Colorado. Terrible. 5.3 projected FIP. 5.6 run implied total for Boston. 
in Boston. This is a massive game. Red Sox need to right the ship here. 11% chance to be the top stack. Another 9% chance at top value. You've got Rafael Devers, 5,600. Very easily the best option you can get to from the Red Sox. But all told, I, other than removing Chase Anderson as the starter and getting some random new good dude, the Boston Red Sox will be the number one stack today. No matter what changes are made, this run environment is too good. So if it didn't work for you yesterday, that's okay. Go straight back to it. I know I will. The Boston Red Sox are the best team that you can get. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my MLB DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, June 13th. There's a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning doing the exact same thing with another edition of The Contenders.